We're here in Western Sydney with Warren Scattergood of Statewide Curbing. Tell us about a, a couple of key projects around Sydney. Some of them have been landmark ones that we're quite proud and I'm sure you're proud that you've finished. Uh, yeah, we just finished a job on the M5 with our C-Max. We did uh, six kilometres of variable slot of drain, uh, 300 and 400 pipe. We had the slot vary, um, the pipe vary anywhere between zero to 200 millimetres. Uh, as far as I know, we were the first ones in the world to achieve that. And we've also done, we also did a variable barrier wall on the job. There was 30 kilometres of wall that varied both sides of the road all the way th through the centre. Um, and that mole weighed five and a half tonne and the C-Max handled it quite well. If somebody out there was thinking about getting a slip forming machine, what's, what should they know about? Probably the first thing they should know about is what application they, would they be doing with the machine because there's different size slip form machines so they would have to look in the market to see which, is, which size suits them first. Once they have that um, sorted out then the next thing is who's going to give them the best um, aftermarket service, uh, who's going to give them the best training. Just transportability is probably very important that you don't have to go wasting time stripping it down to fit it on a trailer. So power curb is fit on a trailer legal width. Um, so even things like um, trim and pour, even though we aren't trimming and pouring here, um, but uh, power curbers have a very good trim and pour setup. I believe is probably one of the best on the market. Also how simple the machine is to operate, because if you're buying a machine for your workers, to use, um, even though some machines on the surface might look okay, but if they are very complex in the operation of them, they might um, cause a uh, bit of an issue with your workers. We found Power Curb is a very simple machine to set up, very simple machine to run. Um, I have seen other machines that um, might have all the bells and whistles on them, but I think it becomes a bit of a challenge for the guys to try and get their head around and understand how it all works. Yeah. And you've owned a couple of power curb machines, hey? I think uh, that you probably own more power curb machines than anybody else in Australia. Uh, yeah, we've had quite a few power curb machines, from a few second-hand machines to about, I think, uh, five new machines. So yeah. Right behind there's just slip form and the standard curb and gutter, council curb and gutter. Um, as you can see, it's millimetre. There's no string line behind the machine. And the millimetre station's actually on the other side of the road. How accurate is this millimetre stringless technology? Um, from our experience with doing checks, we can get it within three millimetres of being um, correct for, for height and within 10 millimetres for line. So um, that's been pretty impressive. It's every, good, every bit as good, if not better, than what you would get out of a string line. So Warren, tell me a little bit about the productivity you get out of a power curve machine compared to extruding. Oh, the productivity is um, probably twice the productivity. It's just um, a continuous movement. Um, and there's less labour involved, it's, it's, it's probably 100% again. Yeah, and the concrete's a bit different as well, tell me about that. Yeah, we're running anywhere between a 30 to 40 mil slump concrete, depending on what type of concrete it is, whereas the extruder machine runs a nil slump concrete, which is a lot harder to unload, and um, it's not as strong. Finishing it's a bit different as well? Yeah, there's no slurry involved, um, this produces its own slurry through the vibration, so like again, there's no, there's no one mixing slurry, which is less labour again. Um, it's just a much more simpler process. When you deliver this kind of quality and this efficiency, what does that do for your business, Warren? Um, I think it puts us on the map. The customers can see that we can go to the job, we can get the job done in um, record time with, um, with minimal complications, which you know, is good for us, but it's also good for them because their job gets put ahead of schedule. Um, and I think the word travels in this industry and, and once people know that we can go there and do a job very efficient, um, people want to come on board.